it's hard to find a basic use for calculus in real life. Like, uh, you know, being honest, right? Hi, I'm Sarah. I like to make math engaging and fun. If you're interested in more problems, more examples, anything specific, any questions you have, send me an email, click the link and do the stuff. It's hard to imagine when you're gonna use the shell method or anything like that in calculus. But when you're learning that more advanced math, it teaches you a lot of sort of like those soft skills, right? It teaches you perseverance. It teaches you using a formula. It teaches you logical reasoning, logical arguments, um, being able to follow a sequence of um, events and follow along with facts and things like that and being able to apply those mathematical reasoning skills in real life. Now, I have seen some really cool things about calculus in ceramics because when you talk about calculus, um, you know, and there's lots of different venues of calculus. When you look at like the rotations and things like that of different vases and different shapes and all of those different like sound waves and things like that, like people have taken um, a wave that they find on a, on a graph or with an equation or something like that. And then they go through and they wrote and you rotate it and it make like they can make pottery out of that saying, you know, that curve and things like that. So that to me is something that's really cool. Now, are you using calculus to like calculate that vase shape and everything? Uh, no, no, <laughs> but you can. And I think that's really cool that it still sort of exists in real life. Like it does affect your day-to-day -day life. Actually, oh, well, it's not, uh, it kind of might be calculus, but in that game, in that Animal Well game, if you haven't played Animal Well, it's really good. One of the puzzles you had to like play with these different, it, it was like a, it was basically you were building like a curve. Right, so you had to change things about the different, like the amplitude and the wavelength and all that. Now they didn't call it amplitude and wavelength, but that's really what you were doing, is you would turn these different like levers and stuff like that, and you had to get it to where it went and passed through all three of these specific dots, and that unlocked the door. You aren't using calculus in that sense, or you aren't using the actual like Algebra 2 concepts and things like that for that, but that game designer I know did, and that's pretty math.